Hi, and welcome to ABC Interactive English. I'm Mike. I'm Mary. Welcome to our A Slice of Life unit. We hope you are feeling hungry today because our topic for this month is a tasty cookie. That's right, but not just any tasty cookie. This one has a unique style and shape that is all its own. You could almost say that it has its own personality. We're talking about gingerbread men. These delicious men and women have been satisfying hungry folks for many, many years now. But where exactly do they come from? How and where did the gingerbread man spend his childhood? We'll be finding out all about that. But first, we need to go over to Mary because she has our new vocabulary words for us. Mary, thank you, Mike. 今天的文章主题是姜饼人 gingerbread man. 那文章一开始就说到啊，圣诞节的应景小点心有很多，但是姜饼人可能是最可爱的一种哦。那大概或许的英文就叫做 probably。Probably, 这是一个副词。例如，你可能某天到学校啊，忘记带作业了。那你可能就会跟老师说 ，I probably left it at home. I probably left it at home. 我可能把它忘在家里了。那文章接下来啊，问了一个问题：这些可口的小人儿是哪里来的呢？那可口的、美味的，英文就叫做 delicious。Delicious， 这是一个形容词。如果同学们觉得有哪家餐厅啊、咖啡厅的食物很好吃，你就可以和同学这样子推荐 ：Their food is delicious. Their food is delicious. 他们的食物很好吃哦。那文章接下来继续说，在一千多年前，人们把姜饼当做药来吃，也会把姜饼切成不同形状，以供节庆的时候使用。在这里有我们另外两个单词，第一个是 medicine， medicine， 药，这是一个名词。那吃药是有一个固定用法的哦，叫做 take medicine， take medicine。例如， you need to take your medicine on time， you need to take your medicine on time。你必须要按时吃药。那最后一个单词是 festival， festival， 节庆、庆典，这是一个名词。例如。During Dragon Boat Festival, people usually celebrate by eating rice dumplings. During Dragon Boat Festival, people usually celebrate by eating rice dumplings. 在端午节的时候，人们通常会吃粽子来庆祝哦。那看完了单字例句，让我们一起回来继续看文章吧。There are many Christmas snacks, but gingerbread men are probably the cutest ones. Where did these delicious little people come from? People brought ginger from China to Europe over a thousand years ago. They used it to make spicy cakes, and they called them gingerbread. Explanation one. Okay, now we can start reading the story for today. Our title is. Gingerbread men, the cutest Christmas snack. Hey, yeah, gingerbread men are delicious any time of year, but Christmas is a great time to have them. I think I've seen old pictures of people hanging gingerbread men on their Christmas trees. Did you ever do that when you were a kid, Mike? No, I can't remember that we did. Our tree had the usual decorations of lights and stars and other hanging things, but no food. We did have gingerbread men as dessert at Christmas or as a snack, but we didn't put them on the tree. Anyways, let's jump into our article and see what it says about the history of gingerbread men. The first sentence reads, "There are many delicious Christmas snacks, but gingerbread men are probably the cutest ones." That's right. There are a lot of other delicious snack foods associated with Christmas, aren't there? Oh, sure. There are many kinds of Christmas cakes and cookies. 
from minced meat tarts to cookies in the shapes of stars and angels. We have butter tarts, Christmas logs, snowman cookies, or cookies that look like little Christmas trees. There are so many delicious ways to celebrate Christmas. But I have to agree with the article. Gingerbread men are cute. So here's our question. It's the next sentence in the article, and it reads, where did these delicious people come from? And gingerbread mothers is not the answer. Uh, well, first, let's talk about the ginger in the gingerbread man cookie. The article says, people brought ginger from China to Europe over a thousand years ago. That ginger 就是姜的意思哦，这是一个名词。Wow, that's going way back in history. It sure is. It just shows you how long people have been enjoying the taste of ginger in their food. Okay, let's go over to Daphne now for our very first grammar point. 大家好，我是 Daphne。今天的第一则文法是 bring something from place to place， 意思是带着某物从某地到某地。Bring 在这里是及物动词，携带的意思。三态是 bring, brought, brought。这是一词片语 ，from A to B 就是从 A 到 B 合在一起。Bring something from place to place 就是带着某物从某地到某地。例如 ，The East India Company brought tea from China to Europe。东印度公司把茶从中国带到欧洲。And welcome back. So we just learned that the ginger in gingerbread men came to Europe from China over a thousand years ago. Okay. So now that they have ginger, what did European cooks do next? We read they used it to make spicy cakes, and they called them. Gingerbread, aha! So this is what we call the dough that gingerbread cookies are made of. Very interesting, and we'll have more interesting gingerbread facts after this quick break. See you soon. They ate it as medicine. They also cut the gingerbread into different shapes for festivals. At that time. Only special people were allowed to make gingerbread. However, anyone could make it for Christmas, so that became people's favorite time to eat it. Explanation two. Welcome back, everyone. Today we are learning all about gingerbread men and their history. Ginger has been a popular spice and flavoring for food for over a thousand years, and after it was brought to Europe from China, European cooks started adding it to their tasty dishes. But Europeans weren't just using ginger to make their food taste better. As we read on, it says they ate it as medicine. Well, sure. It's being used in Chinese cooking and medicine too. Right, and I seem to remember reading somewhere that they say ginger can help if you have an upset stomach, and so gingerbread was good for you, and it could also be used to make your cookies more attractive. It says they also cut gingerbread into different shapes for festivals. Aha. Now we are starting to see how the cookies shaped like men were first invented. So even though ginger and gingerbread were becoming more popular, it was still considered a very spe special spice. We read at that time only special people were allowed to make gingerbread. Wow, interesting! It sure is. Maybe this had something to do with the fact that. Since it came from China, there wasn't a lot around, and it was very expensive. Well, we'll find out more after we come back from Daphne, who will now tell us about our final two new grammar points. Daphne. 
。今天的第二则文法是 at that time， 意思是在当时。at 是时间介系词在的意思。that 在这里是限定词那的意思，用来修饰名词 time 一段时间，合在一起。At that time， 字面意思就是在那段时间，为时间副词片语。例如 ，Instagram was launched in 2010. At that time, it was the top photo sharing app. Instagram 于二零一零年推出，在当时是分享照片的最佳应用程式。今天的第三则文法是 somebody is allowed to 加原形动词，意思是某人被允许做某事。Allow 是及物动词允许的意思，后方我们先接人当受词，再用不定词 to be 引出允许某人做的事情。句型是 A allows B to 加原形动词，例如 the teacher allows students。To use their smartphones. 那位老师允许学生使用手机。这个主动语态的句型重点落在 A， 强调是 A 有权利准许 B 做事情。如果我们要把重点摆在 B， 句型就会变成 B is allowed to 加原形动词，强调 B 获准做某事。例如 ，students。Are allowed to use their smartphones. 学生获准使用手机。And welcome back. We had just learned that gingerbread was still quite precious in Europe, and so only a few people were allowed to make it. But next, we learned that this rule was ignored at one special time of year. It says, however, anyone can make it for Christmas. Ah,、uh, since Christmas was such a special holiday, anyone can make gingerbread at that time of year. Exactly, and imagine what a special treat it would be to get to eat something that you have to wait all year for. And this also means that our final sentence should come as no surprise. It says, "So that became people's favorite time to eat it." For some, it was their only time to eat it. But as years passed and times changed, people always kept up the tradition of having gingerbread at Christmas time. Okay, there you have it, folks. Our first day of looking at the story of gingerbread men has come to an end, but we'll have much more for you tomorrow. So please be sure to come back for that. Until then, bye bye. bye, -bye. Gingerbread men, the cutest Christmas snack. There are many Christmas snacks, but gingerbread men are probably the cutest ones. Where did these delicious little people come from? People brought ginger from China to Europe over a thousand years ago. They used it to make spicy cakes, and they called them gingerbread. They ate it as medicine. They also cut the gingerbread into different shapes for festivals. At that time, only special people were allowed to make gingerbread. However, anyone could make it for Christmas, so that became people's favorite time to eat it. party 聚会的时候呢，嗯、通常会称赞对方的装扮打扮，来打开话匣子。但如何称赞对方呢？这个很重要哦。嗯、今天跟大家分享五个要怎么样称赞别人的实用句型。一 ，This dress looks great on you。二 ，That's a pretty purse。Where did you get it？ 三 ，You have a good sense of fashion。四 ，You're a smart dresser. 五 ，I like your high heels. 首先呢，女生参加 party 一定会精心打扮，对，好不好？这个、时候我们就要
。这个时候我们就要说 ，This dress looks great on you. This dress looks great on you. 你穿这个洋装真好看。哎，一定心花怒放，觉得你真有品味，有 sense 哦你。你，我说啊，你穿西装真好看，对，对不对 ？Thank you 啦。嗯，好，那这然后再来，你还可以去称赞对方的这个手饰啊、配件啊。对，就比如说他拿一个手拿包好了。哦 ，That's a pretty purse。好，那后面也可以再加一个 ，Where did you get it？ 嗯，这表示呢，你有在观察他，注意到他，然后你也显示出，哎，称赞他的品味非常的好。那、嗯、在哪里买的、啊？我也想要一个这样，所以他就会觉得说，哇、哦，你也喜欢哦，遇到知音的感觉。Where did you get it？ 对，嗯、对 it? 你的第一印象就。得分好不好、嗯？所以我们要直接礼貌自然地称赞对方的品味风格，但是前面两句都比较委婉、暗示性，我们可以直接单刀直入一点。You have a good sense of fashion。太棒了！对，你的真，你真有时尚品味呢，是不是 ？You have a good sense of fashion。对 ，You have a good sense of fashion。对对对。OK。对。我们还可以其他，好，你就继续好了哈，我来讲。继续。对，那我们还可以用其他的说法哈，比如说用 you 当主词，对不对？因为我们刚刚讲是 you have a great sense of fashion， 你也可以说 you are a smart dresser。You are a smart dresser。对，就是你穿衣服非常有 sense 啊，这个穿衣服非常会非常有品味，对，很会穿衣服。对，但女生也常常会说呢啊，我喜欢你的高跟鞋，哇、哦，你高跟鞋好好看哦。好，对，这个时候呢，我们可以直接说 I like your 看什么东西，嗯、不管是它的发型啦、啊、鞋子啊、配件啦、啊，都可以。I like your 哒哒哒。I like your high heels。I like your hairstyle。I, I like your husband. Ah, this is not good. Oh, no, no, 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 Thank you. What's your secret? Hmm, I don't want to tell you. We'll look at today's live action. Hi. Hi. Oh, what's your secret? You look great in that suit. Oh, thanks. That's a pretty purse. Where did you get it? Um, it was a gift. I noticed that you have a good sense of fashion. Hmm, thank you. Uh, I like your heels too. Oh, thank and you. And you have really great skin. Ah,、uh. what's your secret? Hello, 大家好，我是 Hanny， 又到我们一分钟的单元喽。那我们今天在 A Slice of Life 学到了四个单词。现在用一分钟的时间帮大家复习，同学们您都准备好了没？一分钟计时开始。第一个单词是指大概或是或许，它是当副词。哎，你听到或许，宝宝会想到 maybe 这个字。那我们来学 P 开头的，它叫做 probably。probably they will probably get married in the near future。他们很有可能会在不久的将来结婚。第二单词是美味的，好好吃的，叫做什么呢 ？delicious， delicious。The cheesecake is delicious. Oh, this cheese 蛋糕好好吃哦。第三个单词是药，感冒药吃药的那个药怎么说呢？叫做 medicine. Medicine. Take the medicine and get some rest. 把药吃下去，然后就好好休息一下吧。第四个单词它是指节庆或是庆典，叫做 festival. Festival. 像音乐季，你可以说 music festival. The music festival will be held in August. 那个音乐季会在八月举行。好，太好啦！我们在一分钟之内顺利复习完四个单词，同学们表现很棒哦。那么回去要记得多多复习。今天的 A B C Interactive English 到此为止，下次见哦，拜拜。